So, with regards to so called um how to be single and uh, I say so called because it's it's barely about it really. I, I don't know why they do this. And again, I I don't quite understand how any of this turns out the way it turns out. So I mean, apparently it's, it's uh, adapted from a book that is completely different from this movie. I mean, what's, what's the point of that? What's the point? I mean, if, if, if it's completely different, why would you even say it's adapted from a book? I, I, I really don't get it. And you know, from, from the sounds of it, the book might actually be more interesting. Or at least more focused. I, I don't get it. I don't get what the point of this is. And how, how do you... How do you... How do you call a uh, movie that if no one is really single i mean what, what's the point i mean they, they they're uh, intermingling constantly that's not single even if they're not in a committed relationship it's not, it's not single per se i i, I just I, I don't i don't get it i mean this is constant thing it's uh, and i mean sure enough there was a bit of comedy at least as opposed to you know many rom-coms which really barely have any any sort of you know you know um, Drama or calm, you know, uh, but it, it was mostly in uh, with, with, with so called uh, uh, Rebel Wilson's character, you know, she was mostly funny. Uh, many of her lines were funny. Other than that, I, I don't get how, how many, you know, the most rom coms it seems, and either a, a marriage or a birth. I mean, really, don't they have any other? Possibilities somehow they all end and one of the other so boring. I mean, sure enough, at least they uh, didn't show the actual birth, you know, the whole thing much better than uh, otherwise. But I, I don't get it. Like, can they just not have one or the other? Just it's so incessant, you know. And so, yeah, but otherwise, I mean, you know, all these people going along with it, 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 it wasn't really very interesting. And it only addressed the issue of how to be actually single in the last 10 minutes. Like, seriously? And somehow, this was successful. Uh, commercially successful, at least. Uh, sure enough, uh, um, it wasn't seemingly uh, praised by critics, but I suppose people making this movie don't really care much about it as long as it's commercially successful. Uh, it, I I just I don't I don't get it like you know um apparently even the even the general audience thinks it's possibly mediocre and yet yet uh it it, it was a box office hit somehow despite you know average rising being relatively low uh, I I don't get it I don't get how the, these things happen I mean it's it's so I mean I've seen loads of this the same thing over and over I'm not sure. Yeah, so this is the thing, you know, it seems like, you know, it's just one of those lucky sort of things where, you know, just get that or possibly the inclusion of uh, Christmas staples possibly, but it, it's really so repetitive. I'd be just so surprised if it's because, just because of that or some other, some other, you know, just, I mean, it's, it's all very, you know, and, you know, the fact that they barely, barely really, it barely really has anything to do with the title, you know? It, it really should have had more. I mean, uh, you know, it's sort of mis mis selling it otherwise, you know. I mean, it, it pretty much only addressed it in the last 10 minutes. And that's, it, you know, for, for a movie that goes on for a, a, an hour and 50 minutes, that's quite a lot for a rom com, you know. And for it to only address it in the last 10 minutes is ridiculous, right? So that's more than the average length of a movie, usually, which is about an hour and a half. Where it barely is about being single. I mean, how is it single? They have like a zillion partners. That's not single. That's that's being a zillion. You know, just definitions are out of the window. Clearly, makes no sense. You know, when this is sort of this 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 thing. You know, um, well, makes no sense. Really. Um. So yeah. Um. The uh. By the way, one one of the trivia there um, on IMDb say somehow I mean there's a bit or uh, has been quite a lot of extrapolation really. Um, uh, apparently, uh, there was.
know, some bar that happened to be called the construction inside. I didn't quite notice it. And it thinks that it's 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 uh, it's from derived from you know uh, it's, uh, a, a book about this construction, and that's because the movie is about constructing love. Like seriously, yeah, quite a lot of extrapolation. Not quite far fetched. Uh, I, I don't see how love would this this deconstructed. It's like any other rom com. It's not the construction. It's just not really there being. I mean, okay, I'm not expecting you know that to be proper romance when it's a rom com, really. But ideally, there's some sort of ratio that makes sense. You know? sure enough, it uh, did have a bit of comedy. At least many rom coms these days really. Have a dearth of comedy. I mean, it's so annoying when that happens. You know, some try pitifully to be romantic somehow, despite barely being at all. And yes, at, at least in that aspect, it wasn't the worst of rom coms because you know it didn't end. You know, didn't end with Dakota's character. You know, happily married or whatever. You know, that's how most rom coms end. But Saying that her character specifically wasn't too funny either, so that's the problem, you know. It's mostly only uh, Rebel Wilson's character that was funny, and Byron's character wasn't funny either, really. Even though um, was it was it his brother? I've I've, I've seen some other movie with Byron in it once, and I I think I found it funny. This this guy wasn't funny here, so maybe. Not all the violins are funny, and it's not like funniness is genetic. But anyway, yeah, no, it didn't. They actually tried to go the, the pathos route with uh, Wyland's character, which is a bit odd in a, a rom com. You don't normally get pathos in a rom com, it's kind of unexpected, and I only lasted like uh, five minutes, so uh, not quite very effective in that sense uh, for just five minutes. And uh, I'm not even sure what the point of his character was, to be fair, because you know, in the end, it's, well, everyone separated, I guess, from Dakota's character. Um, but yeah, either way, you know, I found it mediocre at best, but not terrible either, not, not absolutely terrible. I mean, I've, you know. I know many other rom coms that are worse. Uh, you're more stereotypical and have less comedy, and that bungle up attempts at uh, some somehow romance as well. But this wasn't too strong either, on those. And it still had a few stereotypes. But not too bad either, like. Some rom coms. So, yeah. But otherwise, um, it's whatever, really. It's. I should watch less rom coms, clearly. Yeah, very much so. Very much. Yeah. Um, it's. Uh, it's it's an overload. But anyway, other than that, yeah, it, it was okay, mediocre.